Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I have a brand new video for you guys. It is a AMA, an Ask Me Anything. This actually serves as two purposes, this video. One, I'm going to be answering questions that I asked, or that you guys asked online from Twitter and the YouTube community feed. Also, if you didn't get a question there, leave them in the comment section below. Any of the posts or comments that I have did a little bow tied heart to that shows that I've liked or loved the comment as a channel, those are ones I've responded to. So go look at all those uh, if you want to. This will be a continual AMA, ask me anything. Um, I'm not as formal here, uh, partially because we're in the middle of a whatever heat dome right now. I live in the Pacific Northwest uh, up in Canada, and so it is freaking hot. It hit, uh, I think, 44 today Celsius, which is up, I think, around 112 Fahrenheit. So uh, it's a little ridiculous out here. So no long sleeve shirt and a bow tie today. Are you interested in learning any other language slash languages? If so, which one? This has become a default question for me when meeting someone, lol. Uh, that's actually a really cool, interesting uh, question to ask right off the bat. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Uh, I have always wanted to learn Greek. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I've always wanted to learn Greek uh, and maybe even ancient Greek. I, I've loved kind of ancient Roman, ancient Greek cultures. Uh, and so that's just something I've kind of wanted to learn. What age did you start listening to electronic music? It would probably be late 2013. Uh, and probably from my mom, actually. My mom listened to a variety of stuff that was fairly popular. Uh, and I remember hearing Technologic by Daft Punk a lot and uh, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. I, I don't know why, I just listened to those quite a bit or that's what my mom had liked. She had in her playlists back then. And I just was kind of gravitating towards it a little bit. What was the first Monster Cat song you've listened to? Your top and worst five songs in the label. Uh, so the first one, first song I listened to, I actually started listening to Monster Cat the day before uh, Monster Cat uh, 16 Expedition release, that compilation, I believe, uh, I just looked at, it was like February 24th, so it would have been like February 23rd, 2014 is when I first listened to Monster Cat, and I heard it from the classic uh, YouTube outro, I, I think it was like Ant Venom or something like that, it was some Minecraft YouTuber back then, maybe Captain Sparkles, I were using Top of the World by Stephen Walking as their outro music, and that was, I found Monster Cat that way, uh, some friends of mine had listened to it a little bit beforehand too, and so I got uh, really into Monster Cat then, and then when the album came out, I freaking loved it so we uh we kind of went hard on it and then top five and worst five songs label uh number one is definitely constellations by grant i believe two is rebirth by resonate three would be the scribble extended mix four is wishes by grant and five is a toss-up right now between either Crave by Tristam or Believe Her by Mr. Fijuiji. And I don't really think I have a worst five list song on Monster Cat, uh, but I did pull up my mega Monster Cat sheet that I have. Um, and so I've rated a couple songs ones, no zeros, but a couple ones, I think about 10. So I'm just gonna list off the ones that I've given a one, a score of a one out of 10 too. Uh, the Evil Inside VIP, Play, Eliminate, Remix, um, the Drop, Dubloads Remix, Deep in the Night, Dion Timmer Remix, Alone, Get a Remix, Heartbit, 12th Planet Remix, Legends, uh, Zatrox Remix, uh, Emoji, The Thieves and Dr. Fresh Remix, Just Like That, Terravite Remix, The We Are One Acapella, uh, The Technician, Nelio Remix, and Obsession by Nelio. Uh, those are, yeah, those are my all my one scores. Are you planning to do reactions to artists from other labels besides Monster Cat, for example, Disciple, and would it be interesting to see the reaction to Fitch or Panda Eyes? Uh, I have done reactions to other stuff. Uh, I've done Porter Robinson, I've done some Tristam, I've done some San Holo. Uh, part of the joy of me doing this channel and why I continue to do it is because I get to pick what I want to do for the most part. Um, nowadays you can join up with a membership and you can submit your own stuff that you'd want me to do if you sign up for the Golden Bowtide Gang. Uh, but I just want to react to artists that I want to react to and it's kind of as simple as that. Why did you start making videos? What idea do you had in your head? Uh, and are you happy with your channel now and how YouTube is going? By the way, my name is Dominic. You may recognize me from the YouTube comments. Hello, Dominic. I definitely recognize you. Um, yeah, so to answer these questions, why did I start making videos? Uh, I've been making videos for a long time. I started making videos on YouTube back in 2011 off of random YouTube channels I've had. They were dumb stuff, short films. They were Minecraft videos. They were Halo Let's Plays. They were Call of Duty montages. They were the, the stupidest stuff. I've been on YouTube for forever now. Uh, and I've done a, a slew of channels. This is easily my most successful one. The most other one was a Pokemon channel that I think had 600 subscribers, something like that. Um, 
but I just love making videos. I don't know. It was something that fueled my creativity. I, I see myself as a very creative person. And so it was an outlet that I could do. And my dad did videos a lot in the past. So I think it came fairly naturally to me. Uh, and now I, because of all the videos I've done in the past, I, that's my job. That's what I do right now. I'm a full-time video producer. My technical title at uh, my job is video producer and communications. Uh, and so I make videos because ultimately it fuels my creativity. I think I sort of answered the other one. Uh, and are you happy with your channel now and how YouTube is going? I am very happy with the channel. The moment that I think I would say I made it was in the Tristam live stream uh, when the album was being released. People were calling my name and they were like, where is Bowtie? Is Bowtie here? And I'd be like, wow, that feel it felt so surreal. And now that I put this membership up and there are at least seven of you right now that have said, hey, I want to invest in your channel. I want to invest in this community. I, I'm just blown away and I don't expect anything ever from this and I'm just happy with the engagement that you guys have given me so far and I will do this as long as I can because I love it. Jungle Diff or Bot Diff, Eric Prides or Dead Mouse, Porter or Maddie on Grant or Last Hero Seven Lines or Elenium. Uh, as a jungle and support main, uh, it's a Jungle Diff every time. Uh, Eric Pride or Dead Mouse, uh, definitely Dead Mouse. I've been to, I've seen Dead Mouse live, and I think he is incredible. You know, I just answered this other one to the screen that you guys aren't gonna watch because I said Maddion, but then I couldn't justify it, so I'm gonna have to go with Porter. I just liked Worlds better than Adventure, and I liked Nurture better than Good Faith, so I think that's actually fairly natural. Which is weird though, because in terms of just singles, I like the Maddion stuff much more, and I've seen Maddion live with my best friend and. Huh, I don't actually know. Grant or Last Heroes? Uh, absolutely Grant. Seven Lions or Elenium? Elenium for me, for sure. How much has music impacted your outlook on life? And are there any artists or songs that have left a huge impact on your life? That's a, that's a pretty loaded question. Um, and I'm not a very introspective person though, so I don't really, I'm not like, oh man, the song kind of changed me or who I am. I'm really not that, I'm not a crier for songs either. Uh, and so I, I sadly really don't think, music has, I think, slowly shaped me and evolved me over time into the person I am, but I really couldn't think of any big moments in my life where I'm like, dang, this song changed who I am or that. And so I just think, if anything, it's just the community that Monster Cat has given me over the years and how much support you guys have given me and just being in random Reddit sections or lurking or posting the every now and then. And I just I just think the community of music is the biggest thing. And yeah, I, part of that with the artist too, I really don't think I can say anyone has had a huge impact in my life. I would say like some of my favorites, which I'm gonna get to in another question later, but um, I, I don't think any of them would really have had the biggest like impact in my life, which is kind of sad, but I, I think I'm a fairly, I don't know if level-headed is the right word, but I'm fairly individualistic is probably the best way to put it. And so I, I'm not too swayed by uh, other artists or mediums in terms of knowing who I am. What is life? And since we all posted our hot takes relating to Monster Cat, do you have any Monster Cat hot takes of your own? That's a good one. Uh, so what is life? Uh, I prescribe to the Christian faith I have my entire life. I work at a Christian church. Uh, and so my answer to what is life is actually would be my church's mission statement. And that is love God, love others and change the world through Christ. And so that was, that is what I believe life to be the purpose of life. Uh, and since we are all poster hot takes, uh, what are your hot takes? Um, the one that I've been using recently is, uh, all of this by Ihoban is a better version of Margarita. And the other one is sadly, I, I don't like Xylent that much. I, I can't get behind it. I've I said this before in another video, but I went back and like gave it another shot. But like I, I gave the original album like I think a, a five out of ten just in terms of rating all the songs averagely. I, I really didn't like it. Um, but over time I, I get it a little bit more now, but I still is not necessarily for me. If you were to choose one non-Monster Cat artist you'd consider your favorite of all time, who would it be? Actually, I know my for sure top five and the first two aren't even Monster Cat. So there's a lot of questions to talk about my favorite, so I'm just gonna answer it with this one. Number one, Daft Punk, the classic. Number two, Eden, or the Eden Project, his older stuff. Number three is then Grant. Number four is Tristam. And number five is Fiji Ouija. Uh, I'm actually really happy with my top five because there's not a lot of similar artists, if that makes sense. They all do some sphere of EDM, but they're pretty different and they kind of, all five of them hit all the different areas of 
electronic music because Daft Punk is your like dance hall, really popular stuff that went a little rocky and funky for a little while. Eden's your kind of indie tronica that's more indie than electronic. Grant is your future bass kind of emotional stuff. Uh, Tristam is your orchestral cinematic grandioso songs. And Fiji is your really chill trip house trip like garage tracks that you just kind of relax to. First of all, how are you? Second, what slash who are your inspirations that got you into ranking? And lastly, why is it Bowtie Media? So first of all, how am I? How am I? I'm doing really good, thank you. Uh, COVID has actually been a bit of a blessing for me and my family. We've been together more so than we have really ever since I went to university and left and stuff and got married. Uh, I got married in the time, in the time of COVID in the, the, the lowest dip of anything that we originally had after that first wave. Um, I got my job because of COVID. I've been able to be with my family a lot more. I've been out on the lake. Uh, other than this giant heat dome that I'm in right now, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, what are your inspirations that got you into ranking? So I actually just love statistics. I'm a huge stat head. Um, I just love tracking everything and anything. I've had this mega monster cat sheet thing that I've been ranking everything on for forever. I think since I think late 2016 or something like that. And so I just, I just love stats. That's even part of the job I do at, um, at my job. And uh, yeah, so I just love rankings. I originally wanted this channel to be more review focused. I actually had the intention to be album and EP reviews and that was gonna be it. Really no reactions, no rankings, but uh, I did it to uh, Level Days, the album, and then I saw a lot of people were actually just ranking it. And rather than just talking about it, they would just rank the songs. I was like, oh, I wanna do this too, maybe. And so I, uh, I went and I ranked it and then I've been ranking stuff ever since. I've kind of, step back a little bit from ranking since then. I'm pretty much just doing the monthly stuff at this point because I like the reaction stuff more and I think you guys do too. Um, but yeah, there's really, that, there was the whole group of community, the whole catalog that would probably be my inspiration for rankings. I never really thought of it as a thing until then. I've always just done it for myself. And lastly, why is it Bowtied Media? This is a great question. A lot of people also ask this one too. Um, I just love bow ties as part of the reason. It's really weird to just say that, but it actually has nothing to do with Grant Bowtie. I actually forgot about that alias while I was creating this thing. I took a lot of time into the name and identity of this channel. I knew I wanted to do this channel for a long time. I just didn't know what to name it. Uh, I was gonna be like, it was gonna be like Northside Media or something like that. Um, first of all, let's go with media actually. Uh, I want Bowtie Media to be something that is far more reaching where even if I did like freelance video work for other people, I could um, use my company as just Bowtie Media. It's not necessarily a YouTube channel. And so that's why I wanted to pick media rather than just like Bowtie Ranks or Bowtie Monster Scout or something like that. I want it to be a more universal name. And then bow tied, I love bow ties. Uh, I was actually planning my wedding at the same time that, um, or I should say my wife was planning my wedding at the same time uh, that I started this channel. And so I just, I bought a ton of bow ties for all the groomsmen and I was like, I just maybe should just do this. And so that's kind of how Bowtie Media was born. Do you think you would be where you are today if Monster Cat was never a thing? That is a fun question to think about because it's the grand butterfly effect of, if I haven't listened to this music for seven years, where would I be here today? Would I live in this house? Would I have this channel? And um, I don't know. I, I may actually still be doing Pokemon YouTube, if anything, because uh, I that channel was fairly successful at one point. Um, but who knows? Who knows where I would be? Um, I, I think I would probably be still in the same job I was right now or same traje trajectory because I didn't do anything music related with my career or whatever. I got a bachelor's of business administration at a university for four years. And so I didn't, that was, mostly I was always just kind of in the background, something that I really enjoyed a lot. And so I don't think it really changed a ton of my trajectory in life other than maybe some butterfly effect stuff here and there. Who are some artists that you would want to do a collab, uh, but you know that would never happen? This is a good one. I always want, and one day it'll happen. I thought it was gonna happen on the 10 year anniversary, but I guess it didn't. Fiji, direct, cloud none. Make it happen, please. What's your favorite song of all time? How old are you? When was the beginning of your channel? Who are some family members to listen to EDM? If you have different content ideas and music stuff, what would it be? And that's a lot of questions here. Favorite song of all time is actually Digital Love by Daft Punk, and really closely second is Constellations by Grant. Uh, how old am I? I am 23, turning 24 in October. Uh, when was the beginning of your channel? I started it in, I think, May of 2020, uh, during the pretty beginning early stages of like the global lockdowns and everything. Uh, it was pretty much when the Level Days album came out, Conroe stuff. 
are some of your family members listen to EDM? I listen to EDM because my mom listens to EDM, or not a ton, but uh, she did for a period of time, and that's why I think I like EDM. Uh, if you have some different content ideas other than music stuff, what would it be? Uh, I would love to do interviews with Monster Cat artists. I think that would be super fun. I actually live in the same place that um, Conor lives, and I know Excision is from, and Sleepy Tom is from as well, and so it would be kind of cool to do some in-person interviews. I actually really want to start a Monster Cat trivia game show or Monster Cat Jeopardy. Um, that's, yeah, I have all these ideas in my head about it, but I still need to figure out a way to execute it all well. Um, but maybe you'll see that in the future. Who knows? Besides EDM, is there any genres of music that you listen to or like? Uh, I listen to probably second to EDM is hip hop rap. Uh, I'm actually a pretty big fan of rap. Um, I do like the conscious rap a little bit. I'm a little bit of a, a pain in that sense, uh, like Eminem or NF, even though I know the stuff is really cringy. I just, I do like him. Uh, Tyler, the creator's last uh, album uh, was fire. I freaking loved that thing. Uh, Run the Jewels was great as well. Uh, if there was another genre other than EDM and rap, um, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's an odd pop song here and there. Uh, I listened to lots of Queen back when I was younger, but I mean, it's pretty much just EDM and rap. Do you watch NBA or like basketball? And the next one underneath is actually, what is your favorite sport? So I'll answer this in the same question. I do not like basketball. I'm sorry, I don't watch basketball. Uh, my main sports I like to play and watch are actually baseball and volleyball. I know it's a little weird combination, but everything that does do with this motion, I really love. I played baseball for 10 years and I played volleyball for six. I won a provincial championships, went to nationals. So um, yeah, and if you want to count it, League of Legends. I'm a big esports fan, uh, pretty much, well, I guess just League of Legends. I've watched a lot of Smash 2 and actually competitive Pokemon. I've actually played competitive Pokemon tournaments, both the games and the trading cards, but that's a whole nother thing. Favorite movie and or TV show? Favorite movie, uh, probably Interstellar. And then maybe after that is Avengers Endgame. I'm a sucker for the MCU. I freaking love it so much. There's just, yeah, I, I love it. Uh, in terms of TV show, then uh, Breaking Bad is my favorite TV show of all time. I don't watch a ton of TV shows. I do watch a decent amount of movies though. Uh, what is your real name and your hobbies in general? My real name is Dakota, uh, similarly to the state, North and South Dakota, but with a D. So D-A-K-O-D-A -D -A rather than T-A. So Dakota, not Dakota. But uh, that is my real name and my hobbies in general are actually just making videos, like doing what I'm doing here because I'm really not getting paid for all the stuff I'm doing. I'm making like, I think 50 bucks a month right now. That is what, two and a half hours of work for me at my actual job. Uh, so this is my hobby. These videos that you're watching are my hobby. I play lots of video games as well. I'm playing a lot of League of Legends right now and uh, actually MLB The Show. I've got an Xbox and I guess my Mac. Um, so it doesn't run the league that well, but um, those are probably my hobbies. Favorite food. I have a few. Uh, I really love just meat in general, like a Cajun chicken. I'm just a huge fan of uh, steak. I mean, lobster tail, if we want to go really big with that, I'd like never have that ever, but I'm a big fan. Uh, I like sushis a lot. I like burgers. I'm a big fan of McDonald's. Uh, I, I, I like a lot of junk food primarily. Tea or coffee? Uh, neither, actually. I do not like warm beverages. My favorite beverage is a nice cold can of cherry vanilla Coca-Cola. But other than that, I don't like tea or coffee. Are you a world kind of guy? I I mean, I, I like world. I, I do like world. But that has been it for the Bowtied AMA, the Ask Me Anything. Thank you so much for engaging in this content. If I did not answer your question, you can leave them in the comment section below. If I have that little heart icon next to it that says that I love the comment, that means I replied to it. So continually ask the questions in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in another video.